Okay, we're going to make a wavy flag cross here. All right, so first thing we're going to do is go up here to draw curve. I'm going to make a wavy shape that I want. I'm going to select that. Hold control. Move a second line up. And I'm going to take that flag, select it, hold shift, bottom line, top line. Go over here to distort selected objects between two curves. Apply. You got a, your wavy flag. Remove that out of the way for a minute. Delete my lines. Right. I'm just going to make a simple cross. Center both of those up. All right. Select both of them. Weld vector. So it's going to eliminate those overlaps. All right. Now I'm going to take that. Let me say offset it in inward point two. Now I can take my wavy flag, bring it over here, scale to the size I want to put in there, and center it up about the way I want it. Now, you're going to select the flag first, and then that inside boundary. Now, if you go to trim object, you can clear outside boundary, you'll realize that the whole thing disappears. Undo that. Take this flag. Because it's locked, it's going to eliminate the whole thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to offset it just a tiny bit, deleting the original, and group that again. Now I can select that inside boundary again, clear outside boundary, clear, and it'll take everything out of the outside. I'm going to group that again, and go in here, and delete my inside vector. Take the outside of my cross again. I'm going to go point 0.2 again, but this time I'm going to go outward. All right. I'm going to take that whole thing, select it. Go to V-Carve, I got a 0 .06 deep, 60 degree bit with a 16th inch clearance. And you calculate. So preview. And hit preview visible tool pass. And I can take those colors, set all. Now you got your wavy flag on, on the cross.